Hello! In this episode I am going to try fixing the backlight in this signal generator. This is Hewlett Packard ESG D2000A 2 GHz signal generator. I have already used it in a few previous videos and I told the story that I picked it up really cheap because it had several problems. The LCD screen was bad, the attenuator was missing and the output amplifier board was bad as well. Plus a few minor things like missing knob, missing feet and handle and such. So I borrowed the attenuator and the amplifier board from another instrument, similar instrument I have and the modules are interchangeable and I managed to repair the LCD screen to some extent. I had to replace both the front and back polarizer films. I don't know what happened to them but they looked as if they have been fried or something. All cracked and bubbled. So I managed to replace them but because this was my first experience I left a few air bubbles. Perhaps you can see a few spots, a big spot right here for example. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera especially with this backlight. So now I need to tackle the backlight and I think there is a CFL light bulb which is failing and I would like to replace it with LEDs. Here is the front panel. Lots of connectors on it. This instrument has some options installed. This is the main output connector. Uh, this is LCD and this is keypad. And this must be a high voltage converter for the CFL bulb. Let's have a closer look at this inverter. According to schematic, this connector has ground, 5 volts and some sort of brightness control. Here is the LCD. And this is the CFL bulb. And have a look. It's certainly burned on this end. And even the plastic is burned slightly. I have already ordered this LED strip on eBay from China and it has arrived broken because of poor packaging. It was not very expensive at all, three dollars something including this driver and shipping. So now I need to fix it here and figure out how to properly cut it to size and how to adjust the driver to compensate for missing LEDs. I found that the LEDs are organized into groups of three and we have 22 groups here so we have a three series 22 parallel configuration in this strip. And I connected the broken pieces uh, like this for now. And I also found the data sheet for this chip. Here is the data sheet for the chip. And it is a constant current LED driver with boost converter. So it can boost the voltage in this range to whatever is needed to drive the LEDs. In our case with three LEDs in series the output should be around 9 volts, perhaps slightly higher than 9 volts. So here we have all the parameters, block diagram, pin functions, electrical parameters. Here is the dim control, 
the output is off if dim, dim control is below 0.9 volts and uh, 10 to 100 percent when dim control is between 1.1 and approximately 3.2 volts more information here typical applications packaging looks great so far the data sheet looked promising, but in practice this thing does not work at 5 volts at all. When I tried it started lighting up only around 9 volts. I traced the circuit and it has nothing to do with the typical applications in the data sheet. It seems to me that on this little board the chip is configured as a step-down converter as opposed to step-up. And it seems that um, it should work from 12 volts because on eBay it is sold as backlight replacement for 15-inch uh, laptop screens. This is my test setup. This lab supply provides 12 volts and here I hooked up this potentiometer to the dim control input and I'm measuring the voltage there. Let's see what happens. So around uh, 0.9 volts the LED strip starts lighting up and then there is no change for a while until we reach about 2 volts. The brightness starts increasing and so does the current consumption. And we reach the maximum around 2.2 .2 volts. So the maximum brightness must be this and the maximum current is uh, 0.28 amps and there is no change after that if I increase the voltage. So the dim control in this configuration works in a very narrow range from about 2 volts to 2.2 volts. And now I'm measuring the current flowing to the LED strip using this current clamp. And the clamp is configured now to put out 1 millivolt per 10 milliamps. We are reading about 35 millivolts, which means about 350 milliamps. And if we divide that by 22, which is the number of uh, parallel strings of three LEDs, we get about 16 milliamps per string. I'm not sure this is the maximum for these LEDs. Perhaps they can be driven higher. But uh, let's assume we want to match this. It seems to be bright enough. So I need to cut this strip to size, which is I think 18 LEDs or 6 strings and adjust the current limit on the board uh, to still have about 16 milliamps per string or about let's say 95 milliamps total. I replaced this uh, 1 ohm current sense resistor with 3.3 and 10 ohm resistors in parallel which is about 2.5 ohms and this results in about 100 milliamps. It must be close enough. Here is the LED strip, carefully cut to 18 LEDs, and the brake is fixed with a drop of super glue. Around 100 milliamps, and should be bright enough. Here is the LED strip in place, held by a drop of hot glue here.
here is the result at full brightness this is certainly much better however the screen still has this unusual tint to it I guess this must be because of the replacement polarizing films I used I just bought the cheapest ones I found uh, on eBay of sufficient size and it's not a problem just looks a bit different from the usual gray this is a working prototype first of all I measured the brightness adjustment pin and it happens to be DC voltage from almost zero about 0.2 volts to about 4.7 volts so this circuit here with two trim pots is to scale and shift this to the desired range from 2 volts to 2.2 volts and this is a step up converter from 5 volts to 12 volts and I had to put extra filtering on the output this inductor and this capacitor otherwise I saw some flickering on the screen on some medium brightness settings with extra filtering it seems to be okay but I don't quite like this I don't trust very much this uh, hackish way of using this chip as a step down converter and I am even tempted to rebuild this driver according to the datasheet uh, to make it a step up converter and get rid of this one and simplify this whole thing and probably make it more reliable I'm not sure yet which way to go I will make a decision and probably build this up on a little piece of uh, prototyping board or something like that here it is ready to go here is my idea of shifting and scaling the brightness control suppose we have a minimum brightness setting here which is almost 0 volts so we have almost 0 volts here so the stream pod becomes just a voltage divider connected to the ground so we can adjust it to have our minimum point we want and then we can set maximum brightness here and then adjust this stream pod to have our maximum brightness here maximum level we want and uh, this buffer helps to make the trim pots almost independent in practice I implemented the circuit without this buffer with just straight connection this way they are dependent on each other and a bit tricky to adjust but it needs to be done only once and it works my boost converter from 5 volts to 12 volts is based on this chip which is a universal DC to DC converter and universal here means that it can be used in step down step up or voltage inverting configuration I used it in step up configuration of course I just happened to have a few of them available in a surface mount package and it is a nice little chip uh, very easy to use with just a few external components I followed this typical application circuit for step up converter almost exactly with this uh, optional filter here we have both modules heat shrunk and attached to the back of the front panel to this bracket where the um, high voltage inverter was this goes to the main board and this is the output to the LED strip here is the result let's check the brightness adjustment a bit non-linear but so was the CFL based one as well 
I think it's not bad at all. I hope you like this little project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.